Coach, we're going to start with a few questions for you and move on to Willie. First question, for two years the Yellow Jackets have boasted one of the most potent offenses in the PAC, especially your 2014 squad. This season, there will be new starters at quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end. How do you and offensive coordinator Matt Stansfield plan on dealing with such tremendous losses? Well, you know, I know this. It's, it's great for us to start off having Willie Lavelle back for us. Uh, if I look back over the course of the last three years, which have been very successful for us, there's not a, a big play memory that I don't have with Willie Lavelle in that memory. I mean, he's made several plays for us over the course of the last three years in the kicking game, uh, in, in punt and kickoff returns as well as in, in offensive play. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a weapon that defensive, you know, defenses has to, you know, they have to gear up for him and where he's going to line up on the field. So we'll start with Willie and, uh, you know, and, and the blessing of having him back. And then, to be honest with you, you know, the last three years and, and, and the performances of all the special players that we've had, were not expected over the course of the last three years. Um, and we had no expectations going in. We just wanted to go in, work hard, hopefully put the guys in the right situations to be successful. And then we listened a lot to our players and what they had to say, especially at the quarterback position with Carter Hill. Uh, instead of me micromanaging the circumstances that I would like to see play out, you know, we went into a reverse role uh, situation for us and we learned a lot about ourselves about our players their leadership qualities and the success that they could have on the field with just being comfortable with with their roles and responsibilities so uh, I'm excited about the future you know there's uh, there's going to be future Bernie Thompson's out there there's going to be future Andrew Englishes out there um, and you know we're fortunate to have Carter Hill back as a coach now so he'll be able to brought, to provide some leadership for for our incoming quarterbacks Though the Waynesburg defense suffered some significant losses as well, it comes back more intact than your offensive unit. How much of a bigger load do you feel your defense needs to carry than in previous years for this team to be successful? You know, no more than in previous years. Um, I don't know if we are a unique uh, situation uh, in our recruiting philosophy than to any other coaches in the conference. Everybody does such a great job. But at Waynesburg University, what we try to do is, is recruit defensive personnel. And in every person that we're going out uh, you know, to, to look into, you know, we study them on the defensive side of the ball first and then how they can contribute on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, so, so we're looking to strategically make moves with our football team immediately when the season's over and we transition out who's coming back. Uh, we start making adjustments defensively from within. You know, we, we call it first to the field situation. We try to be very honest in the recruiting process with the guys uh, that we're investigating. But we made moves right away defensively off of our current roster to solidify us before we even finish the recruiting process very early on in December. You know, one of the, one of the key moves was moving Christian Breisinger, uh, who could have very well been our starting quarterback, you know, we thought we'd make a bold move with this. You know, losing Mike Lebohoski from our defensive secondary. Let's get a guy back there that's used to making some decisions. A really, you know, a very strong competitor, a kid that loves to play, and get him back in, in into a situation where he's even more comfortable on the defensive side as a player than he would be as a quarterback. Uh, in calling his own plays at the line of scrimmage. So, you know, we talked about it. I sent him home for Christmas break. And uh, I think that's going to be a significant change for us defensively, uh, along with Josh Mundell in a secondary and a, and, a, and a veteran secondary, which we haven't had in a couple years. Um, you know, I feel really good about, uh, about us defensively, at least on paper. Um, we got a couple guys, you know, I thought, I thought Jordan Voitis played very well, you know, for us, which, which was a surprise move. You know, when Kurt Detweiler went down for us last year, you know, Jordan Voitis moved from offense to defense and solidified us there. Now that made us better. You know, we get great leadership out of Zach Mashuga on the defensive line. And, and you know, we have had some great, you know, off-season, you know, uh, uh, incoming recruits, either freshmen or transfer, that are going to help us. So uh, feel really good about where we're at uh, going forward. You mentioned Carter Hill, and uh, we'll circle back to him for a second. Carter turned in two of the greatest seasons in program history as a three-year starting quarterback. Can you talk about any insight on the race to replace him at that position? I can't. 
Uh, we'll find that out here next Wednesday. You know, as I mentioned before, we're, we're solidified defensively. You know, we've, we've really got some, some great returning talent on the offensive side of the ball. I think our offensive line this year will be the strength of our football team. And I'm very, very happy to say that here at this, at this news conference here today. Uh, led by Nick Sappy up front and Tyler Powell. I think our offensive line you know, will, be, will be sturdy up front. We'll have depth up front. Um, obviously, it's going to matter how we use Willie. Uh, I, think, I think we can use him creatively in a lot of different ways. And I think, I think we've got a lot of running backs you know, which are going to come in and they're, they're going to make a difference for us. Jerry Lawman comes back. Um, you know, so you know, I like the possibilities there, but you know, we're going to have to wait and see what happens at the quarterback position. And uh, it doesn't matter to me when that happens. You know, we're going to start a rookie quarterback, and I mean a rookie. You know, we, we had a couple guys in, in our program that have had two years to develop as quarterbacks. Uh, I'm very honest with my players. I went into the offseason in December before I hit the recruiting trail, and I said, hey, look, I'm going to look you dead square in the eye. And I said, you know, and I said, you know we've got... You know, I don't feel comfortable about where we're at. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to talk to quarterbacks about coming in and having the opportunity to play. You know, these guys, a couple of these guys have had two years in the program and, and we're not impressive enough to get that nod. You know, their eligibility, though, and their football play is still important to me. You know what I mean? So I wanted them to think about what they were going to do with their offseason and what other positions might be available to them because I won't ever waste a player's eligibility. That's, that's the most important thing to them. And uh, we began our quest you know, for replacing Carter Hill at the quarterback position. So um, I, think, I think we got four, four or five guys coming in. Uh, they're they're going to make a run for it. I, you know, I have an idea of a couple of guys I think that'll that'll progress through the race but that needs to express itself during the course of two a days. Coach thanks a lot. Willie a couple questions for you now. Last year you were named first team all PAC as an all-purpose back and second team all PAC as a kick returner. How do you feel about your role on this team that includes running back, wide receiver, kick returner, and punt returner? Um, well, I really embrace this role. Uh, it allows me to be a more versatile weapon. Um, it also uh, allows for coaches to have to scheme for me in more areas than just one. Uh, but most importantly, it allows for me to help my team in whatever they need, so I really embrace this role. In 2014, Waynesburg returned experienced starters at every offensive skill position, leaving you that role of the all-purpose player. With all those starters gone, how do you see your role, both as a player and leader, changing with the 2015 team? Uh, as a player, I really don't see my role changing a whole lot. I mean, I may see more snaps uh, on offense at receiver. Uh, but as a leader, my role has to change a lot because with those guys we lost, uh, I was able to sit back and be more of a leader that led by example. So now it's time for me to step up and be more of a vocal leader. Coach Sheppis is just two wins away from becoming the all-time winningest coach in Waynesburg University history. How important is that for you, as well as the other veteran players on the team, to get Coach Sheppis those two wins and even more? Uh, it's very important for us, um, especially us as a team. Uh, he's a great coach, uh, great man. Uh, he made a lot of sacrifices for us, uh, so it's very important for us to get this win for him, and it extends farther than uh, what we do on the field and what he does for us on the field because uh, he tries to teach us to be better men and that's very important to us so I can speak for all the guys when I say we want to get him more than just two wins. Willie last question for you just talk a little bit about your expectations for 2015 personal team. First season are pretty high I'm sure like every other guy in here we won a chance at that PHC uh, championship um, but I think we have the opportunity to do great things this year, and I'm really excited and looking forward to getting back to camp and uh, getting this thing started.